what's up guys? It's your girl Sally from the Shisha Savage coming at you with another hookah tobacco review and actually it's a threefer because we're going to be going over the brand new haze flavors today and I have a guest on the channel today. Hi Jessica. Hello, I'm Jessica. You guys probably see me on Facebook or at Honey Hookah on Instagram. I work for South Smoke and we are here to talk about the brand new haze flavors. Yeah, so you'll see some content um, going back and forth between uh, my channel here and on the South Smoke website. Um, Jessica also runs a blog, so if she happens to do a blog on a flavor that I happen to review, it'll be linked there. Mm -hmm. So you can go there and look, you can come here and look, whatever you choose, you know, you have a choice. <laughs> um, so Jessica, what flavors are we going over today? We're going over the three new flavors from Haze, which we have in their respective hookahs. We have BOF, which is like a fruit cocktail with a nice mint undertone, which is more of an overtone. <laughs> <laughs> Haze Cotton Candy, it's Cotton Clouds, which is my personal favorite. Very, very sweet. Has a little bit of a caramelized taste from what uh, Sally said, and I agree with her. And then we have Beat the Heat, which is Cherry Limeade. So guys, this isn't going to be like a super in-depth review today. Um, I will go back and reshoot um, like a version two of this where um, we've tested the flavors a little bit more. This is literally the first time we smoked this today. Mm -hmm. um, and initial impressions, wow. Like, yeah. Haze is coming back with a vengeance, y'all. <laughs> just saying. And we're in the South. So I was just like, why do I sound so country? I'm from California. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, so we're just going to go through each flavor. We're both going to smoke a little bit, um, talk to you guys a little bit about the flavor profile, what to expect, and go from there. So um, first off, we have BOF. Acronym stands for whatever you wanted to stand for. Jessica had a good one earlier. What did you say? Burst of flavor. Burst of flavor. We're going to keep it PG-13 here on the channel. <laughs> so um, as Jessica said, um, she was talking about BOF as a kind of like a fruit medley, fruit cocktail type flavor with some mint. So Jessica, what are you getting um, flavor wise through the smoke versus what you smelled? Well, the smell is very, very fruity. It, it is very strong it's a really really nice smell and it smells like that still when you exhale when you actually smoke it i get a lot more of the mint um, which isn't a bad thing at all it's just it has a, a very forefront of mint and then you can taste the fruit on the back end it is supposed to have a focus on strawberry and kiwi which i know it's in there i don't think it pulls out enough from the other fruit but it, uh, it has a lot in there it has cherries blueberries lime there's there's a whole bunch of different fruits pineapple i think also is on the can um so more like a fruit melody with a really nice mint undertone that gets stronger and stronger the fruit definitely gets stronger the longer you smoke it yeah and these um these bowls have been going for about like 35 minutes now yeah. this is our second round of coals we just wanted to start fresh for this video um but generally you guys know from haze whatever is on the can on the outside with the graphics is generally what you're going to get so on this can, if you look closely, you can see like lemon, orange, lime, kiwi, that's a lot, pineapple, yeah. <laughs> cherries, strawberries, watermelon, and some ice cubes, which I'm guessing it signifies the mint. Um, if you want to get into the scent more. Um, yeah, for me, the longer the session has been going, the, the fruits blending together a little bit better, but on the smell, the, um, the mint or the cooling... Um, notes and the citrus actually comes through more for me than anything else I don't know what you think Jessica definitely in the smell I smell more citrus than anything that smells delicious <laughs> yeah it smells so good but on the flavor um, on the exhale, you get the mint, but the citrus flavors kind of like go to the background. You get more of like the watermelon rind, the strawberry, um, the blueberry, which I forgot to mention. Um, I mean, it's a very well-rounded, well-balanced flavor, I feel like, but the mint is a little more of a kicker than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So take it as you will. Um, for all you mint heads, definitely give this a try. Super good. Um, so while she's smoking that, um, our second flavor today is Cotton Clouds, and um, it's two um, cotton candy on a stick uh, with like a hurricane type of, you know, pattern going around them. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be like fluffy clouds. <laughs> um, do you want to, here, let me test you the hose here. 
And guys, we're just we're just working with what we have. I brought one hookah today. I think yeah, we were gonna we, smoke one flavor. <laughs> Frankenstein put together a couple things here to to be able to do all three of them at once. But on the aroma, um, on the forefront, is gonna be like a caramelized type of sugar, um, type of um, smell. So uh, we were talking to Kay earlier before we shot our interview with him. Um, when you typically add vanilla to a mix, it kind of ends up smelling like that, like a caramel, but it is vanilla. It's very, very sweet smelling. So like if you go to the state fair and you, you know, want to get some fair food, that's what it reminds me of. What do you think, Jessica? Yeah, it definitely smells really sweet. It, it doesn't taste as sweet as you would probably think from it being cotton candy. You're probably thinking of a very, very overly saturated flavor that has a lot of sugary aftertones like you get the cotton candy notes you get the flavor but like she said it has a very caramelized aftertaste to it so it almost it seems a lot deeper than I expected I expected a very light kind of sweetness and I got a, a much more complex flavor than I thought I was going to get um, simple in the fact that it tastes just like what it is there's not a lot of other notes in it but it tastes more substantial than what I yeah like as thought. the session's going the caramelization, like the caramelized sugar taste is very, very prominent. So it's not like the bowl is burning because obviously haze puts up with heat very, very well. It's a very forgiving tobacco when it comes to heat. Um, but definitely like at the beginning, I feel like there was that sugary sponge sugar type of taste. And then it kind of like the flavor got really complex really quick mm -hmm. once the bowl started heating up. So it's really good, guys. Um, yeah. I, I was kind of skeptical about this flavor. Um, I think you were really excited about it. I right? was. I was skeptical, but it was the one that I was I was had the highest hopes for, and it did turn out to be my favorite of the three. So, not disappointed. Nice. So, um, we're gonna talk about the last flavor. Last but not least, we have beat the heat, and it's supposed to be a cherry limeade. Um, on the front, you see um, cherries and lime. Uh, so if you want to smoke, I'm just gonna talk about the. I can get this hose unkinked. There <laughs> you go. This beast of a hose. I know, this BZ hose, y'all. It's really nice, and I, I like heavy hoses. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely a heavy-duty hose. Um, so we're just going to get into the smell. You definitely smell what you see on the can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually my favorite out of the three. Definitely reminds me of, like, you know, Sonic cherry limeades. And you guys know Sonic has, like, the best cherry limeades. Yeah, great poolside type of smoke, I feel like. What do you think about the flavor, Jessica? I think the lime is fantastic. Like, it's really, really prominent. Like, you can definitely... I, I thought it was going to be closer to the cherry than the lime, the lime being an afterthought, and it's definitely the forefront. It tastes like a natural lime to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very, very natural. And the, the cherry in there is there. You can tell that it's there, and it just kind of takes a little bit of that bite away from the citrus, and it makes it really smooth. I think it, I think it turned out really well. It's definitely my second favorite out of it. And for those of you guys who don't know, I'm not a big cherry fan when it comes to hookah tobacco, but they did a really nice job with this. The lime is very prominent. It's a very fresh type of lime. Um, and I think it makes it more refreshing because it's a blonde tobacco. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, everything's subjective. So that's just my opinion. So in my humble opinion, um, I feel like the blonde leaf being mixed with that lime flavor really makes it super refreshing. The cherry's in there, but it's kind of subtle. Mm -hmm. You get it more on the exhale. Um, but I feel like they did a really great job with this one. Um, I mean, all three flavors they did a great job with, but definitely I'm impressed with Beat the Heat and Cotton Clouds because they were not what I was expecting. And um, they're performing very, very well. These, I mean, by the t by this time it's been like 40 45 minutes mm -hmm. super impressed um so yeah guys look out for these flavors um they're gonna be hitting the market pretty soon but you can get them from south smoke first um they are the did you say you were the exclusive distributor or like the, the biggest hub? exclusive uh importer and distributor in the u.s so now that they're in spain uh everything comes through us first and then i mean it's going to be available wherever you want to buy it once we get everything situated it just happened it just got to us and uh, but right now it is just available at us for a short time and we are just the importer of it the manufacturing is in spain awesome so um just a few cliff notes about haze um they are changing their can sizes correct mm -hmm. so no more 50 gram containers guys so if you commit you got to commit to a 100 gram container 
Um, also, these new beautiful kilo containers. It's freaking amazing because you can actually smell the flavor through the lid, but the, I mean, the lid has a nice little seal on it. Um, so for those of you lounge owners or guys who find a tobacco flavor that you really like from Hayes, these will be super handy and then you know being able to use them later on for other hookah tobaccos that you may have also these um haze um charcoal cubes i'm gonna do a separate review on those but these have been super impressive i was not originally a big fan of haze um charcoal i'm not gonna lie uh, we are using haze flats right now definitely different than my first experience with them back in 2015 it's a long time ago um throwback but these cubes hold their size so well. They work really well. Um, I have smoked um, haze at home with these cubes on just foil with an HMD. It works perfectly fine. Um, I actually am very partial to um, coal brands like Charcoal Flare, um, Titanium Cubes, Cocoa Earth Cubes. But this is going to be my new go-to. Super impressed. So keep a lookout for everything. Um, is there anything else you wanted to go over about haze? No, I think we covered covered it all. New cubes, the flats are available as well, so they're back on the market. And I know that the cubes are actually available in a lounge case, so if you do really, really like them, they are available in that big size. Um, I haven't seen that for the flats yet. I don't know if it's in the the making or anything. Listen, if you want to split a lounge case with me, I'm all for it. <laughs> hey, I this is so convenient that you live this close to me. Like, I know. I mean, <laughs> we were, buddies. Yeah, we were living this close the entire time. We didn't even realize until we went to Raleigh for our little hookah meetup. So shout out to Adrian and Kyle it was so much fun two weekends ago it hanging was. out with you guys and smoking and I gotta give a shout out to the significant other so um Killigan Killigan AKA Killian <laughs> um Rachel and Tessa it was mm -hmm. really great to meet you guys um also guys just to let you know now that um I've partnered up with South Smoke we do have a coupon code for you so it's gonna be Shisha Savage 12 and it's gonna be 12% off any of your purchases that includes sale items which is amazing and unheard of um i mean the prices are already pretty low mm -hmm. but the fact that you can get 12 percent off anything on sale as well super nice of them so thank you so much um guys keep a lookout for new content i'm going to be switching it up on my channel um a little bit um now that i have access to um everything at south smoke yeah <laughs> um it's gonna look a lot better in the, none of the forward facing camera videos unless i just really want to put something out there for you guys you might get a one shot review no editing so you know if i look a little a little bit of a mess forgive me <laughs> i really just want to put out content because i've been so excited to come back and i'm coming back with a vengeance for sure so like haze yeah <laughs> so guys whenever you guys see these hit the market give them a try check out southsmoke.com and jessica thank you so much for coming on and yeah. talking a little bit about haze and being my friend yeah <laughs> thanks for letting me crash your video <laughs> not a problem and until next time guys shisha savage out